Hi everyone, my name is Emily Heemstra and I'm the Outreach Officer for the Association of Canadian Women Composers. I am so excited tonight to be joined by Jack Campbell, who is the leader of the New Music at the Gallery concert series at the Vancouver Art Gallery. And we're really excited about some upcoming partnerships that are going on. So without further ado, Jack, could you tell us a little bit about who you are in your role at the Vancouver Art Gallery? Absolutely. Thank you so much for speaking with me, Emily, and we at the Gallery are also very excited to be partnering with the Association of Canadian Women Composers on this exciting concert on December 16th. Um, I am a composer, a sound artist, violinist, guitarist. Uh, I work in production, I work in arts administration, and at the Vancouver Art Gallery I have a unique role where I am the curator of anything sort of musical that occurs at the gallery and I lead this exciting new concert series and I also uh, do some work as a consultant on the production of the concerts themselves. No, oh, that's amazing. That's a that's quite a robust role that you have there. <laughs> um, how did you get involved with the new music at the gallery series in the first place? I became involved with the gallery um, before COVID nineteen hit, uh, when we engaged together on a compositional violin project. I was completing surrounding the work of Robert Rauschenberg, and the gallery has one of the the most extensive and impressive and well-maintained collections of Rauschenberg artworks in the world. Um, our creative goals and beliefs and ethics were very similar and the gallery, much to my joy, approached me asking me to assume these responsibilities in light of their desire to highlight contemporary music, highlight Canadian music, and highlight uh, music that is diverse in every sense of the word in all areas of that word's conception. Wow, that's amazing. That's um, really amazing that the Vancouver Art Gallery has taken such a, a, a bold approach and and championing new music as well. That's really cool and really exciting to hear. Um, Jack, can you tell us what makes this concert on December 16th so special? Well, this concert has been in planning since the initial first glimpses of what became new music at the gallery. Uh, and I am most excited, you know, it's events such as this one that make me feel like I have the luckiest job in the world. I just, ah, it's, it's going to be tremendous. So this exhibit that we currently have on at the gallery, which surrounds the work of Canadian visual artists is titled Uninvited, uh, Canadian women identifying artists in the modernist movement. Um, now this work highlights a plethora of Canadian women identifying artists covering many, many different genres of visual art from impressionist work to more abstract work to sketches to names we all know and love such as Emily Carr uh, in depicts humans, nature, industrial work, abstraction. And as I'm sure the your organization knows better than anyone, uh, you cannot have such a thing as Canadian music if it doesn't, if it weren't for the work of Canadian women identifying composers for, I mean, it seems to me that the majority of our best artists in Canada are female. So, um, and the, and of course, it is so obvious when you look at the last um, several centuries that the intersection of visual art and music, they're, they're just like this, they're totally inseparable. And as are both visual art and music with socio-political change, awareness, protest, evolution. So I was very enthused to create a concert that highlighted the work of Canadian female 
identifying composers and performers because it is so critical to our cultural bedrock as a musical nation. It is so fascinating. And it is also a journey of tremendous uh, social relevance. At this particular concert, it's an astonishing program performed by an equally wonderful pianist, Miss Jane Hayes, uh, who is one of Canada's legendary new music interpreters and a wonderful maestra. The works which we will hear are by Barbara Pentland and Southam. So we get two of sort of the legends of the past, the names that everybody reveres. Uh, and we have also works by Linda Caitlin Smith, Ferengus Narula, and Alexina Louis, who I think we could consider three titanic living legends of Canadian music. And I'm particularly excited about Linda Caitlin Smith's piece because although it has been played in Europe, this will be the first time the work is played in Canada. That's particularly thrilling for all of us. A Canadian premiere, that's amazing. <laughs> And I should let um, anyone who's watching as well, um, the ACWC, we are going to be hosting um, a draw for some free tickets to the show. So if you're on the West Coast, um, we're going to be sending out some information in the uh, in the online world um, in the next couple of days. So come and yeah. chat with us. We'd love to. And I'll, and, and I'll say that I'm most happy to be partnering with this wonderful organization. And this was brought about by our partnership with our co-partners, the Canadian Music Center in British Columbia. Mm. Uh, I am also extremely thankful for, for their partnership. And this organization is so important to the uh, promotion and dissemination and awareness surrounding uh, Canadian music in general. So we are most thrilled to be working with you. Yeah, what an amazing uh, lineup, a superstar lineup, as you mentioned, for this concert. Um, yes. Will it be, I should ask, I don't know, is it gonna be um, recorded as well? Can, can people watch it online or is it purely? I don't in, believe in you can. No, I don't believe you can. But if you are able to come to Vancouver for 5 p.m. on that date and go to the courtroom 302, we have about 60 tickets left. So you can still get your seats. Amazing. Now, I have to say, Jack, there's also um, we're going to there will be an online discussion as well on yeah. is it December 1st. Is that the date? That's right. December 1st at 12 noon. Okay, so what can audiences expect from the Arts Connect discussion that will be on December 1st? I'm very excited about that as well. So I will be speaking with two of the composers we are featuring, Linda Caitlin Smith and Frangus Narula. I will be moderating the talk. Um, I will probably have a little opinion of my own that I share there, but uh, I am really tremendously excited to hear these two musicians whom I admire tremendously speak and we are going to talk about a variety of things and I'm sure some uh, unique topics will spring up through our discussion which I don't even know about and perhaps that's what I'm most excited about but I can tell you that we will be exploring um, the progression and future of Canadian music as well as reflecting on its past. We will be discussing each composer's own individual artistic practice and how it relates to the pieces of theirs which are being performed. And in the spirit of a concert series which harkens toward so many different aspects of the creative process and creative history and the creative now, I'm particularly interested to inquire as to what these artists find inspiring and what their music represents to them in this modern world and how they see their practice in terms of personal and public and artistic meaning. Wow, that sounds really exciting. I, I hope I can be there as well online to listen into that. Um, yes. Now, Jack, how can um, audiences find tickets to connect both with um, the concert on December 16th and the online discussion? Okay, here's what you need to do. You're going to go to the Vancouver Art Gallery. You're going to click on exhibits and events, and then you're going to click on events, and then you're going to scroll down, and there 
uh, the web page is divided into time blocks there and you'll see one that says art connects and you'll see my head on there with for Angus and Linda and for that there's click on that and then there's a register button you can hit and then you can register on zoom to tune in because that is solely online so if you can't make the concert you can tune in to this one from anywhere in the world as long as you have zoom and an internet connection and you can register and space is unlimited and unlike the concert itself which is titled uninvited to this you are very much invited <laughs> and as for the concert itself uh, same process vancouver Art gallery exhibitions and events events scroll down right now it's at the very bottom um you will see new mu uninvited new music at the gallery canadian uh, women identifying new music voices uh, there'll be a picture of a very lovely painting as well as uh, jane hayes and you can click on that and then it'll say book tickets and while you're at it you can also book drinks and snacks amazing and we'll make sure to include some links as well when we um when we share this on all our socials as well um well jack thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today thank it's you. Been a pleasure we're, we're, we're tremendously excited <laughs> thank you for taking the time to um present and um, showcase these amazing um, composers and the works that they are doing. That's um, a real gift to uh, the Vancouver area. So thank you again for what you're doing. Well, we, this is, uh, it's tremendous to be working with you and I am so excited to be, and it's been a great pleasure to speak with a wonderfully, uh, a wonderful Juno nominated composer such as yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ken. Thanks, Jack. Yeah. All right, so we're going to include the links um, in this video as well. And for more information, you can check out the Vancouver Art Gallery. Thanks so much, everyone.